Hello, I'm Todd Phillips, the editor of Canadian Auto Dealer. I'm very pleased today to have Jay Vijayan, who is the CEO and founder of Techion, an automotive cloud-based DMS and much more provider that is really revolutionizing sort of the approach to, to enterprise-wide software for dealerships. So Jay, thanks for joining us here today. My pleasure. Nice to meet you, Todd, and thanks for having me here, and thanks to Auto Dealer Magazine of Canada. Well, thanks. Uh, it's great to have you here. So we're here in our, our headquarters. I appreciate making the time to come down to, to meet with us here today. So tell us a bit first about your background for those who, who may not know uh, about you, but you've uh, you know, been in the entrepreneurial space, but in the disruption space. Give us a bit of a, better your background. Thank you for asking. Yeah. So, yeah, I, um, you know, I have been in the technology world, started there with my career, uh, mostly on high tech. Uh, have been at companies like large companies like Oracle for a long time in product and um, engineering um, organizations. I've run product teams, and then after that, um, VMware, one of the fast, uh, you know, fast-growing technology companies, um, you know, in around 2007, 2008 timeframe, spent um, uh, time building systems for them from. You know, great growth from few hundred millions to several billions, and then um, the first entry into automotive was uh, you know Tesla. It was a great experience, as uh, you know, you know, and the world knows that what Tesla is doing in terms of disruption in the automotive uh, industry. I'm really excited about um, the opportunity I had there in building platforms and systems, and uh, really enabling that disruption. And then I uh, noticed an opportunity, you know, um, with the larger industry. Um, I felt it's a, you know, globally there was a gap. There was a gap how what modern consumers are expecting and what the industry had. And I felt um, this is an incredible opportunity that um, we should go really um, create a platform and create a positive disruption. And that's the premise of uh, starting Techion in 2016. Uh, it's been an incredible journey, and it's not without challenges, without uh, you know barriers. And uh, fortunately, I think I have a phenomenal team. Um, have been having incredible support from the industry, and I think we delivered a truly a disruptive technology platform to the industry. And so far, the validation has been nothing but you know phenomenal and really strong. Uh, globally started with the U.S. and re we're really excited in expanding in Canada. That's in short. We'd love to share more. Sure. So um, you come from one disruptor and you come into an industry that uh, certainly in the DMS space arguably was, was maybe ripe for some disruption and some, some changes. We were talking earlier about the love-hate relationship uh, dealers yeah. have with some of their DMS providers. Um, so you came out with, with a new approach. I guess you went in stealth mode for a while when you left Tesla and, and yeah. built this and then came, came to market. So tell us about the value proposition about right. Techion for those who haven't heard about it. So. Absolutely. Uh, I think the, one of the things, um, you know, keep it very brief, but industry problems, which, you know, you and your viewers may know, uh, you know, obviously, is one, the um, technology evolution in the automotive um, retail software space um, has not been great at all, right? So quite a bit of, uh, you know, siloed um, systems and creating a lot of friction. What I'm talking about is to run a business, a dealership, um, today I've heard in, you know, across primarily in Canada and in the US, dealers run anywhere between, you know, 20 to even I've heard up to 100 different solutions, point solutions. Of course, there are several complementary solutions, nothing wrong in that, but end of the day, what we need to think about is most important for all of us is consumers, our customers and our consumers. They need to get the best experience, they need to get a good amount of transparency, they need to feel they're in control. And this has been proven in the technology world you know, over and over again by technology companies, you know, the big ones like Apple, Google, Amazon, which we all know, there are many others. And I think that day to day, we all use iPhones and we use Google for search and many other things. And Amazon for shopping, consumers start expecting in every part of their life, right? Why not for buying an automotive? Why not the same experience for servicing my car? Why not engaging with my you know, dealer or engaging with my OEM. So that is the biggest thing that we wanted to solve is how do you remove the friction because you are one Todd Phillips 
when you in today's world unfortunately when you walk into a you know dealership and i've been there um, even if i've gone there for nine times and the tenth time they still ask all of my details again and on the contrary if you look at uh, something like amazon you may have shopped at you know five years ago but today i know we shop every five minutes but even if you shopped five years ago it remembers who you are and remembers your preferences you don't have to repeat entering all the information so that needs to change. The reason for that in the dealership world is because of the siloed system, Todd Phillips, sorry to pick your name, but point is it's in multiple systems. So there are like multiple Todd Phillips. The DMS has one, the CRM has one, the digital retailing has one. Not all the time the records are the same. And that's when you get uh, not a great smooth experience as a consumer. So fundamentally that's what we wanted to change, how do we deliver a modern technology platform that continues to evolve, a cloud native solution? And how do you make sure that it is one Todd Phillips or it's one Jay Vijayan, that's how reality exists, it's only one person. So why do you need duplicate records across, across systems? How does, that, how does that reconcile? And when I go through my buying or shopping experience, how do I get a seamless experience? And how do I get the transparency and how do I get a good feel that I'm in control versus the other way. So that is the biggest value proposition of Techion. Being a cloud native platform, we run the entire retail business um, in one single platform, having a centralized view of uh, 360 of the consumer. Mm -hmm. And we also create complementary systems. It's not that we, you know, have one system to do everything. There is always a need for an ecosystem. We created a partner cloud and an open API and most advanced, so it is seamless. We still don't compromise that you know data exchange and one consumer record uh, view. And we deliver the value. And that is the biggest value proposition of Techion. And the uh, follow on to that is how does the system evolve? Um, again, going back to our consumer world example, you get, you know, in your um, smartphone, Android or Apple, mm -hmm. we get app updates, which we really, most of the time, we don't even realize there is new features every time you turn on the app, you get it. So why not the business app being the same, um, right? So it, evo it should evolve. And that's another biggest, bigger value proposition is as the industry evolves with, you know, selling EVs and autonomous cars and you know there are many things, ride sharing. Why shouldn't the system evolve to enable our uh, partners, which is dealers and OEMs, how we can deliver that evolution enablement through the platform itself. So those are the big things that we are delivering as part of Techion platform. It's interesting, it sounds um Something that a lot of OEMs have been asking for, this omni-channel experience, but then you, you, you've had to wade into the world of the OEMs might approve a website vendor or provider or a, a short list, but then the dealers have autonomy over what they pick. So mm -hmm. even across the dealer network, it could be a real hodgepodge of a mm -hmm. bunch of different systems that frustrates the OEM, I guess, in terms of data right. and all that sort of stuff. So you've had to wade into that world of mm -hmm. the existing business model with a, with a disruptive new approach. How's that been trying to get both those parties who sometimes don't trust one another to yeah. be on the same page? And what's been your experience with that? Great question. And it's honestly, um, thanks for you know, opening that up. It's an elephant in the room. At the end of the day, yes. The, the important aspect of it is, yes, I completely understand you know, the dealers need to protect their business and the OEMs need to protect their brand. What we've been, it's not that it's lost on them, it's just that in the thick of things, they probably miss this and maybe forget it. What we have been educating, but once you educate them, there is a good amount of realization. The education is, end of the day, you need to look at the consumer. So what's your goal, right? If you ask the OEM, what's the goal? You know, you need to sell more, you need to deliver great experience and keep loyal customers. Ask the dealer. Same answer, sell more, you know, um, keep loyal customers and give a great experience. So when the goals are the same, why do you need to be divided? So if you can think about to the, how do you work together to deliver towards that same goal? And unfortunately, the biggest 
thing that we found out over and over again. And in fact, there are dealer groups that has a large dealer group, multiple, not only one. One of the dealer principal uh, owner of a large group, his biggest, his answer was, he said, Jay, the biggest thing for us, um, you know, our hands are tied behind our back when we compete with many of the direct sellers is technology. And I felt technology can be an enabler to provide that transparency and bring dealers and OEM together. Instead of being you know, divided on things, if they can come together and say, okay, to serve the consumer and deliver what they're looking for, let's work together and let's find solutions to you know, uh, deliver what the consumer, and then they'll keep coming back and you can you know, provide the best. The, the first thing is to provide the best experience, provide the transparency and what consumers are looking for so that they are not going elsewhere to get what they're looking for. I'm talking about you know, many of these direct selling organizations. If you can provide that as part of a technology solution, then yeah, consumers are going to you know, gravitate towards that. I think that's, I feel it resonates really well and it's not an easy one, like you said. Um, it's something we continue to say, we are neutral as a technology platform. We are not siding towards an OEM, we are not siding towards uh, a dealer, but at the end of the day, we know as we need to protect both of the businesses, but at the end of the day, how do you ensure the common goal of delivering a great experience, delivering that transparency and keeping the loyalty of a consumer through our technology platform. So that's been our you know, value proposition and I think it's been resonating really well. It takes a little bit of effort to keep explaining and bringing that up. And the moment we do that, and it's been you know, really good, um, I think both dealers and um, OEMs have been embracing it really well. Well, I know on, on the website, you've got a number of testimonials from all kinds of dealers, dealer groups, OEMs. It seems to be really catching on. Certainly the investment and the support and evaluation of the company has been skyrocketing. So kudos to you for that. You're only four years old already, really a, a central player now in the industry. So I have to tell, ask a question though, because for a lot of dealers, and we were chatting earlier, that to change a DMS system is not just like a heart transplant, it's like a lung transplant. Right. It's not something they yeah. want to do every day. And you've got a different model where there's a couple things. One is that they own the data, you're really transparent, and that they can cancel within Absolutely. 30 days. And I know we were talking earlier, that seemed like a very disruptive thing because yeah. a lot of dealers feel yeah. hostage to long-term contracts and fees and stuff. Yeah. So tell us about that part of the disruption, not only on the technology experience, but just on the how to do business with Techion model. So. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it's an important one. Um, when we, you know, the fundamental philosophy, when we, you know, when I started the company and as we uh, progress forward, is we wanted to make sure that we solve pretty much all of the industry problems in one shot. And we don't want it to be an incrementally better solution. We want it to be overwhelmingly compelling solution for, for dealers. The big problems we laid out you know, on the table and say like, what are the things that dealers are facing? So one, the technology is very antiquated. So we created a most modern technology platform and that is cloud native and it will continue to evolve very quickly. And many of our dealer partners, you may have seen in the testimonials, watch for that, like how you know, they and their teams are pleasantly surprised to get new features very quickly. Second, because of the antiquated technology, I think um, dealers um, have been held hostage in the past with long contracts and we got rid of that very clearly. One of the things is we truly believe in our platform and in a good way, it keeps us on our toes to earn the business um, of our dealers every month, right? That's why it's a 30 day cancellation. And I mentioned to you briefly, you know, when I hired um, Napo as uh, one of my top executives coming from the industry, he mentioned this uh, as part of the conversation saying that, you know, Jay, we cannot do this. I mean, 30 day cancellation might impact the business. This was four, four, four years ago, right? Impact the business in a way um, where if dealers switch and it's nothing about dealers are, you know, great customers, but the competition is not. Many times they'll come and easily, you know, switch, I'll convince a dealer to switch. And for me, the answer was very clear because that's an advantage of, uh, you know, coming in outside in to have a fresh view on things. So I felt 
it is a big deal for a dealer as well and you mentioned this and many of the dealers I've spoken to in the early days mentioned this that switching to switching a DMS is like a heart and lung transplant done together so why dealers are smart you know business people so why would a smart business person switch to something if it does what it's supposed to do why would they go and do a heart and lung transplant to their business voluntarily there's no reason only reason they do it many times is because it is not serving the purpose it's creating a lot more disruption than enablement and we strongly felt we need to get rid of that and that way we one um, we deserve their we earn their business and we deserve their business and we continue to you know uh, deliver what the business needs and that's been received phenomenally well by our dealers because we need to give that freedom and that way you know if truly if a dealer decides to switch then you know what we haven't stepped up and we don't deserve their business maybe we need to do better next time so that's been phenomenal as well and then the final one is data and to be honest with you as I mentioned making it simple and one of the things I gave to my teams internally is our contract should be the simplest in the industry not only in the automotive industry any industry and I think they've done that because we very rarely almost we never get uh, issues with a contract with any dealer because it's so simple and straightforward with an, you know cancellation notice and data clearly we write, give it in writing that our dealers own their data we just license it to run their business on our technology platform and it's very simple straightforward we want it to be super open and no-brainer decision for a dealer and it's been great because we've been growing large dealer groups and you know validation has been phenomenal in fact uh, in North America we literally run the world's largest dealership on our platform which is first time ever it has happened in the 50 years outside of the you know two legacy providers that's been in the industry for that long and maybe longer than that. Fantastic story. So now you're here in Canada. Appreciate you being here in, in Ontario. So um, obviously you're having some meetings up here with, with yeah. OEMs and dealers and such. So what are the, the growth plans for Canada? I know you're, you're staffing up a bit here. I mean, it, it yeah. started in the States, but you're starting to really expand that global footprint. So Absolutely. You know, from, from, uh, you know, um, from the beginning, um, we were very clear um, immediately after um, the U.S. We will expand in Canada. And we've started that work um, last year, and now we are putting in significant investment to expand and grow in Canada. And the partnerships also is, is growing. Um, we have a you know great meeting with one of the OEMs um, today, and we are meeting with some large dealer groups as well. So we have some great early dealer partners um, on our platform, um, and then continue to grow and expand. We've hired some strong talent. We continue to hire and. The goal is to even double our employee size uh, in Canada within the next six months and continue to grow and expand. So um, I'm really excited. As you know, that's the purpose of my visit and we'll make more visits here. Me and uh, Napo Ramdin, who runs my commercial operations, is also here. So yeah, I think it's a Im very important market for us. And I've met Canadian dealers. They've visited us in the past in the US and now um, I'm here so we'll continue to invest more and expand in Canada really excited about it well that's great any any other uh, thoughts about how dealers can reach out if a dealer watches this interview and says hey I'm interested how do they how do they contact Techion in Canada what's the uh, absolutely I think Peter um, whom I'll share the contact details so we have uh, he runs our Canada uh, business He's our solutions director and also business development in um, Canada. So what we'll do is I'll share his uh, details, email address, and he'll be the single point to go to. Of course, uh, from a Techion perspective, support at techion.com, anyone can reach out any time, not only our dealer partners from outside, but specifically um, sales at techion.com, and then Canada specific, Peter is the single point uh, person who runs the uh, Canada business. So we'll make sure dealers have a single point contact to reach out to us. Okay, well, Peter's here. We'll make sure to get a photo of him, put his face up on screen. That'd be so awesome. That'd <laughs> be great. <laughs> All right. I appreciate you coming in today. It was fantastic. Great interview. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Signing off.